Are red light cameras rigged with shorter yellow lights in the pursuit of quick profit? These cameras are not about safety, they are about increasing rear endings. From potholes to parking meters, Chicago drivers are getting used to being frustrated, and tonight many of those drivers have a warning to other motorists. They claim if you approach an intersection with a red light camera, the yellow lights are too fast, and your safety could be compromised all to generate revenue. Before you get behind the wheel in Chicago, you better get out your wallet if you want to know what red light cameras raked in in fines last year. It's $64.1 million. Is, is everybody such a lousy driver? What's really got some drivers mad isn't too much red, but what they argue is a lack of yellow. The law that's being violated is the law of physics. Why can't the city afford to give us all citizens and motorists one more second of yellow? Barnett Fagel is a safety advocate and traffic researcher for the National Motorists Association. He claims the three-second yellow light used at Chicago intersections, where the speed limit is 30 miles per hour or less, isn't nearly enough time. It may be posted at 30 miles an hour, the lights may be timed for 30 miles an hour, but the traffic is moving at at least 35 to 40 miles an hour. That's the speed that traffic signals should accommodate. Adding an extra second might make a difference. A study by Texas A&M found adding one second of yellow decreases crashes 35 to 40 percent and decreases violations 60 percent. Wouldn't there be any harm in just adding a second of time to yellow lights across Chicago? We don't believe that an added second of yellow time would have a safety benefit. As a matter of fact, it might decrease safety. Motorists would use that extra second of time not to slow down and stop at the red light, but actually to speed up and use that yellow as an extension of the green time. Brian Steele from Chicago's Department of Transportation tells me a three-second yellow is ample time for drivers to stop. He says there have been fewer crashes and violations since the city installed the cameras. We follow the federal guidelines, the state guidelines, as well as the recommendation by the Institute of Transportation Engineers. But Barnett Fagel insists Chicago hasn't followed three seconds all the time. He says he shot this YouTube video this winter, which shows shorter yellows at red light intersections. Which proves undeniably, unequivocally, the cameras Profit and safety cannot peacefully coexist in the same intersection. So I'd like Mr. Steele's response to that. I don't really know their methodology. I don't know how they're calculating the information that they have. What I can tell you is that anyone who is suggesting that City of Chicago's yellow lights are less than three seconds uh, are wrong. We went to Chicago's top ten revenue grossing intersections. Many of them featured in Fagel's YouTube video. Time after time after time, each one we clocked came out to three seconds exactly, not a hair more or less. And unfortunately, sometimes the only way to change behavior is through some type of ticket or violation. But go out into many suburbs. The yellows are longer. In Skokie, Winneka, Evanston, every one we timed came into more than four seconds. I find myself speeding up to get through the yellow or slamming on the brakes because I'm, I'm scared to go through the yellow. Sometimes I find myself stopping on green. Chicago mother Tiffany Muller guesses she passes 12 red light cameras to take her kids to and from school. I'm afraid of getting rear-ended. That's my worst fear is afraid of getting rear-ended and the kids are in the back seat. If they come into the back of my car, that's my children's lives. We're told it's about safety. It's not. It's about money and it's causing more dangerous intersections. Scott Tucker now wants to do something about it. Running for state rep in Illinois, Tucker, along with State Senator Dan Duffy, is pushing to repeal all red light cameras and lengthen all the yellows in Illinois. The reaction time is a second, second and a half. Now you have another second, second and a half to bring your, your vehicle to a full stop behind the white line. This three second yellow is not long enough. It wasn't enough for the Georgia legislature, which made national news when it voted to extend yellow lights to a minimum four seconds. So Mr. Mayor, what you're saying is that for, for people who live in towns that have these red light cameras, those towns have them pretty much just to make money. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Three seconds isn't long enough for Tiffany Muller. I mean, these hundred dollar tickets are outrageous. That's, you know, part of my rent or part of the food for the month. It's certainly not enough time for Barnett Fagel. He's so confident he's willing to give the city $10,000 if it extends any yellow light to four seconds and the number of violations and collisions don't decrease. Our city used to be the uh, feed the whole world from the stockyards. Now they're feeding off their drivers and visitors. 
Here's another example of how much a difference one second can make. In 2008, the California State Auditor found 80% of the state's tickets were issued when the driver drove through the intersection less than one second after the light had turned red. Now, we have a list of the money generated by each of the city's 184 intersections with red light cameras. If you want more information, you can head to myfoxchicago.com. You can find the list on our front page or also on the metro section. Robin? So the city transportation official says that, uh, you know, increasing it to four seconds won't, won't help safety, that people will just, you know, have more time to go through red lights. But the research shows that it decreases crashes as well as violations. So how, how do they jive with that? Well, Chicago will say that its standard is authentic to Chicago, that Chicago intersections are like Chicago intersections. And that study is uh, really more toward, tailored towards those intersections. You know, you have these flat uh, stretches in Chicago, no hills, and so because of that, they say that they have the baseline that works for Chicago. And remember, Chicago says it's adhering to, sit, uh, to state uh, guidelines and also to federal guidelines as well. Be nice if yellow lights were the same length nationwide, wouldn't it? It would be nice, but that's just not the way things work necessarily. The other thing is if you feel that you want to challenge your case, you can see the video of yourself running through a red light or not, Chicago Department of Transportation actually has a video now. Wow, thank you.